Chris Asprey, I'm the Performance Development Manager for Clutch Industries and I'm involved in developing clutches for high performance cars and the like. Concentric slave cylinders are a relatively late development in the clutch business. Um, the conventional method of operating the clutch has been to have a, a throw out arm with a bearing on it with an externally mounted hydraulic slave. What's becoming more and more common now is to mount the slave cylinder inside the transmission tunnel so that it, it operates directly on the surface of the pressure plate and gives a much more direct push than it does with an arm which inherently has to move one way or the other. It's recommended that when you change the, the clutch you change the CSC because it is very labour intensive to change the CSC again afterwards. You virtually have to redo the job. So the idea is that you Although it's more expensive to buy the CSC, it is cheaper to do it once because the CSC, when you change the clutch, is operating in a different area on its hydraulics and can be prone to leakage afterwards. With the, with the CSC, there are certain ways to go about fitting the clutch that, uh, or fitting the system that is unique to the job. As you can see, some of the plumbing on a, on a CSC is very complicated and what it can do is it can allow air to get into the system, which means it doesn't work effectively. So one of the tips is to prime, prime the CSC with fluid through here before putting it in the car so that the fluid is, the CSC is full before it goes in. One of the methods that's sometimes used is power bleeding, um, which involves putting a power source and pressurising the system. You have to be very careful doing this because it is possible to destroy the seals inside the, the CSC. Another tip that some people use in particularly different applications is a thing called reverse bleeding. Now this involves, in fact, bleeding the slave from the bottom to the top. It can be very effective because obviously the slave is mounted much lower than the master cylinder. You have to be very careful though to make sure that you don't spray brake fluid out the top of the master cylinder.